Hey guys, it's a row. Summer is just around the corner. I live in Southern California, so it's starting to get very hot here. And in the summertime, I love eating cooler and lighter foods. And I got a lot of requests from you guys to share some of my favorite summer recipes. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Today, we are gonna be making three of my favorite summertime recipes. Let's get started. The first summertime treat that we are gonna be making are these fresh fruit popsicles. The things you will need will be a popsicle mold, fresh mint, oranges, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, peach and mango coconut water, and some lemonade. I found all of these ingredients for the recipes that I'm making today at Walmart. When I was there running some errands, I noticed that they are carrying fresh and locally grown produce now. Just remember, locally grown produce varies by store, and these are the ones that I found. I am a big fan of locally grown food, and I thought that this was really cool. So I decided to team up with them to make the recipes in this video. I'm gonna be making two different kinds of popsicles today. The first is a berry lemonade. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I've got our fresh berries, raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries, and a cutting board. And I'm gonna cut our raspberries and blackberries in half. Just gives it a little bit more space when it's in the popsicle, a little bit easier to eat. Now I'm gonna place them inside of our popsicle molds. I'm just gonna be using the three popsicle molds because we're making two recipes. So open up three of them and place your berries inside. I fill mine almost all the way to the top. After you've filled the molds with the berries, we're gonna pour in our lemonade. You're gonna fill it all the way to the top. The second popsicle recipe that we're gonna be making is a fruity mint popsicle. I love mojitos. I feel like anything with a little bit of mint just tastes so refreshing. And the first thing that we're gonna do to make these popsicles is we're gonna cut our oranges. We're gonna cut off the two ends, one, two. Then we're gonna cut off the sides, cutting off the rind. Then we're gonna cut thin orange slices that will will fit inside of the popsicle mold. I'm gonna put a few blueberries in first, and then I picked a few pieces of mint leaf off of my little mint plant over here, and I washed them in the sink. Make sure that you rinse them with water. Then I'm gonna put a few little mints in there, then an orange slice few more blueberries, another mint leaf, another orange slice. I think I can fit in some more blueberries, so I'm gonna do it. We've got our fruity mint pops filled, and now we are gonna pour in our peach and mango flavored coconut water. And just like our other popsicles, we're gonna place on the tops. Now we are gonna pop these in the freezer. I like to let them freeze for about six hours. Every freezer is different depending on your settings, but mine take about six hours to freeze. Once your popsicles are frozen, they're ready to eat. Just pull off the top. <coughs> so cute, I love it. The berries turn the lemonade pink. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, 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 um. The second summertime recipe is one that I like to numb on for lunch and dinner. It's an Italian inspired avocado bruschetta. The things you'll need to make this will be fresh wheat French bread. They bake this daily fresh at the store. Fresh basil, olive oil, one cup of balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, great tomatoes, mozzarella pearls, two firm slightly ripe avocados, and one lemon. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna heat our balsamic vinegar. It's really easy to do this and the reason I like to do it is so that when you drizzle it over your bruschetta it will stick right on there and it has a lot of flavor. It just thickens up your balsamic vinegar a little bit. So now we're gonna take our balsamic vinegar and our saucepan and the spatula over to the stove. Pour the balsamic vinegar into the saucepan. Bring it to a boil on medium high heat. Once boiling, reduce the heat to low and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes to thicken. We want to reduce the vinegar by half. Stir a occasionally so it does not burn on the bottom and you'll know it's done when you can put a spoon in and we'll coat the back. While our balsamic sauce is cooling, we are gonna toast our bread. You can either do this in the oven or I am using my little toaster oven over here. So you're just gonna open them up. And I'm gonna put about six slices in here. And then I want to lightly toast these, so I'm just gonna be putting them on a very light setting. And I'm just gonna place them over here onto the cutting board. We've got our bread toasted, and now we are gonna cut our great tomatoes into quarters. Here I've got a cutting board with a sharp cutting knife, so again, be careful, don't get your fingers. So I like to cut them in half, and half again. I love tomatoes, so I'm gonna be cutting up a bunch, but you can cut however many you'd like. Tomatoes are ready, and now I'm gonna add some 
some basil. I've got my little basil plant over here. You guys, I'm turning into a real adult. I actually have herb plants that are now all around my kitchen. I have mint, basil, rosemary. I'm like adulting. Over here, I've picked off some of my basil leaves and we're gonna bring them over here to the cutting board. Make a little pile of basil leaves right here and then we're going to roll them. Roll them up like a little tube. Then you're gonna hold it in place, take your sharp cutting knife, and we're gonna cut really thin ribbons. Pick up all of your basil ribbons and place them over here in the tomatoes. Everything's coming together, but now we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I'm just gonna slightly drizzle a little bit on top of our tomato and basil, and a little salt and pepper to taste. Then I'm just gonna take a spoon and mix it all together. Next up is slicing our avocado. I love these. In California, we have so many yummy, fresh avocados. They're so good. We're gonna cut our avocado in half, and there's a seed right in the middle, so you go all the way around. Then you twist oh, to open it up. We're just gonna flip our avocado upside down, and we're gonna peel off the skin. Now we're gonna slice. There's many different ways to put avocado on bruschetta, but I like to put it in slices because it looks prettier, but you can also mash it up if you want to. Now it's time to assemble our bruschetta. I'm gonna take your avocado, I'm gonna place it on top of a piece of bread and just fan them out. And now over here, I've just sliced a little bit of lemon. You're gonna squeeze a little bit on top of the avocado so that the avocado won't brown. Then you're gonna take one tablespoon scoop of our tomato basil mixture and place it on the top. Top. Then place on a couple mozzarella pearls. Now we're gonna assemble the rest of these. It is taking all my willpower not to eat these right now. These smell so good. The final step is we're gonna drizzle a little bit of our balsamic vinegar sauce over the top and then place them onto our serving tray and they are ready. Look at that, nice and thick. And I'm just gonna bring it over here. It's okay if you get a little messy. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. All right, and a little bite for me. Mmm, 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 so good. I'm a little messy. On to the final recipe. Our final summertime recipe are these banana split bites. They're fun, easy, and they feed my sweet tooth. The things you will need are some fresh bananas, strawberries, bittersweet chocolate chips, chopped cashews, and popsicle sticks. The first thing that we're gonna do to make these summertime treats is we're gonna cut up our strawberries. Over here, I've rinsed all my strawberries and I'm gonna cut them on top of this cutting board. I'm gonna cut off the hat, the leafy part. And then you're gonna stand your strawberry up and cut it in half once again. And then once you cut it in half, we're gonna keep it together because we want them to be the same size because we're gonna put a little banana in the middle. You're gonna need one strawberry for every treat, so it just depends on how many you wanna make. I'm gonna be making a bunch because I got some friends coming over. Now we're gonna cut up our bananas into little chunks and assemble our bites. So we're gonna take a little banana, peel them, open them up, and I'm gonna cut off both of the ends because I'm not gonna use the end. I'm gonna eat them. Take a strawberry and we're just gonna eyeball it. You wanna cut your banana chunk the same height as your strawberry. Then you're gonna separate your strawberry, place one on the top, one on the bottom. Take one of your popsicle sticks and we're gonna press it all the way through. <gasps> yummy, yummy. And then we're gonna place it over here. I have another cookie sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper so that they won't stick. Got our bananas and strawberries assembled. Now I'm gonna pop these into the freezer to chill. And while they are chilling, I'm gonna heat up my chocolates. Melt them in the microwave. Our fruit has chilled. I've melted my chocolate. Now we're gonna take one of our little fruit kebabs over here and I'm gonna dip the bottom of them into the chocolate. Let the excess chocolate drip off into the bowl. Then I'm just gonna take a pinch of nuts, sprinkle them on all over. Now I'm gonna do this to the rest of our fruit. Ta-da! Here are the summertime recipes that we made today. We made fresh fruit popsicles, avocado bruschetta, and banana split bites. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, 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 um. I'll be posting lots of pictures of these treats on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys make any of these summertime treats or your own yummy treats, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your creations. It always makes my day. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting something summertime themed. This is a first for me. I've never made summer treats with you guys before. All right, thanks again. Bye-bye and have a happy summer.